My name is uh, Vincent Verbeck, and I come with uh, two of my colleagues, Eric Leporce and Ludovic Bellier. We are working uh, in uh, Thales. So Thales is an uh, electronic uh, company uh, which uh, has a, uh, a lot of uh, subsidiaries, and one of them uh, takes place in, uh, in Brest, not far from there, uh, near the sea. And uh, in fact, so we are we are using uh, Smalltalk, and uh, with a quite long history. We were using a small talk for 20 years. Uh, in uh, our company, the, the main difficulties uh, when using this kind of languages is that we we have to be uh, good <laughs> because uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, small talk is uh, uh, considered as an exotic language in, uh, in these kind of companies, so uh, our projects cannot fail. And, uh, uh, this is a list of um, uh, projects uh, which uh, uh, take place during the, uh, the last 20 years. So we begin with uh, developing uh, MMIs, MMIs for uh, real-time uh, applications uh, and uh, embedded uh, software for, um, for military applications. Uh, we, we, we used uh, a, a C code uh, translators uh, coming from uh, TNI which is a, a company which takes place in a, not far from there too, in Brest. And uh, then we, we, we develop uh, our own uh, C++ translator with uh, uh, typing and inference, inference typing, etc. in order to, pro to provide C++ uh, based applications. But uh, all the, the, the MMI development was, uh, was done in, uh, in Smalltalk, of course. Uh, we also developed uh, an automatic test workbench, uh, addressing some uh, uh, some um, uh, measurement equipment with a, a GPIE uh, basis. Uh, we also developed a training center, and MMI workstations for uh, maritime patrol aircraft, for demonstrators essentially. And um, uh, since uh, 2002, um, we uh, dedicated. Uh, the utilization of small talk, especially for uh, system modeling, mock-up, and uh, on the other side, uh, component testing. How, uh, why we we choose a small talk? We chose small talk because uh, this language have, and uh, the environment uh, uh, have good pr properties, uh, especially uh, 20 years ago, because at this uh, this moment, uh, when we have to to uh, convince our, uh, our staff uh, using uh, object language uh, for, for them it was a, a bit uh, strange. <laughs> now it's, uh, it's, it's more, uh, more evident, but uh, 20 years ago it was not so, so obvious. Um, and also we, we, we have uh, uh, the proximity of TNIs which uh, provide uh, uh, us some, uh, some uh, support and, uh, and uh, and they, they were directly involved in uh, some development. Uh, which small talks, in fact, all the small talk uh, versions uh, from the, the first uh, Parkless ones up to the, the last syncom. Uh, and uh, which package, uh, so for all translations, uh, code generations, uh, we are uh, developing uh, our uh, uh, tools uh, on the, the small talk compiler. Uh, of course, we are using a uh, all the user interface uh, classes, VLSCC, DST and OpenTalk for, uh, for uh, CORBA uh, communications. Uh, and uh, some internal packages uh, developed in uh, our companies. Uh, SCM, which is a, a, a kind of CCM, a component based, in fact, uh, 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 framework. Uh, everybody know which, uh, what, what is a CCM, I guess? Oh, no, it's not the question. <laughs> it's an affirmation. And, uh, and uh, DOS, this is the object system. This is a, a middleware uh, which uh, provides uh, ability to, uh, to uh, transfer, uh, to communicate objects uh, through a network and distributed applications. And DSS, which is uh, uh, DST tools uh, and add-ons. A few words on uh, our context in Brest. <coughs> of course, we now we we 
We don't use uh, Smalltalk for the all applications. We are using Smalltalk in a dedicated part in the, process, the development process. So uh, in Brest, Thales uh, provides uh, some um, uh, systems, uh, civilian and military, uh, in two, two domains, in fact. Uh, one of them is, is a maritime patrol aircraft. So this is all the aircraft which, which uh, 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 for the Coast Guard and military uh, in order to, to uh, help fisheries or to uh, survey uh, uh, oil spill pollution uh, and also in uh, military domains to, uh, to, to detect and track uh, submarines, for example. And uh, on the other side, uh, electro electronic warfare CPU uh, functions. Uh, this is a system which is uh, embedded in a frigate and which provides uh, the self-protection for the, for the frigate and uh, commands all the, the jammers, etc. Uh, in order to, to, to protect uh, the vessel. This kind of uh, systems, so we, we call them C2 systems, control and command systems. Uh, this is quite huge, huge uh, developments. Uh, roughly uh, from uh, 1 billion of uh, line of thoughts up to uh, 3 billion. <coughs> and uh, uh, with a, um, now there are two main technologies. Uh, one of the developments was made in C, the other one in Terra uh, for the MMI. And uh, so this is a, a, a fully distributed application, of course, on a, a typically, typically uh, from a, Two, two CPU up to uh, 30 CPU. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's a good. Uh, uh, our, our product, um, so we, we, we call the, the main systems uh, TCS, Tactical uh, Computer Systems. And uh, from the left, we, we, we have the MSIU. This is, this is especially for maritime patrol aircraft. So MSIU, it's a lower hand uh, uh, maritime surveillance aircraft, uh, which is dedicated for the for the custom. And they are just a small aircraft uh, which uh, fly over the coast, up to the upper hand of uh, our systems, with a multi console, multi operator, and a, a huge, uh, quite huge aircraft. And uh, you can see all the, the sensor equip and uh, equipment. Uh, uh, we have to control and uh, to, to, to get information from this equipment, so like a radar, a, a camera, infrared camera, etc. Radio, uh, self protection, uh, IFF navigations. So the main problem with this kind of uh, systems is that they are huge, of course, and uh, also that we have to, to manage the product lines because we, we, we want to have a modular systems. So the small systems are made with a uh, few components, for example the, the, the small one there. So this is, a, as I said before, a small aircraft with just uh, one operator and uh, the, the huge one on, on the top. But uh, they share the same product library. So this is the same components which are deployed uh, on this, uh, all these systems. So we, we want to, to have a, a, a component based applications in order to be able to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, have this, this kind of uh, ability to, to, uh, to share uh, piece of developments between uh, uh, projects which are not the same size. Okay, so, uh, so uh, in order to support this, uh, this product lines, we define uh, an architecture which is called the mosaic, so the, you can see uh, on this, uh, this slide, so uh, some, the, the concept of PIC, plug-in components. In fact, the PIC is dedicated to, to one equipment or one function, like the data fusion, uh, etc. Uh, in uh, all the PICs, we have uh, uh, the agents, which is uh, responsible of the, the behavior of the, the PIC, and one, uh, one MMI, which, is, uh, which can be deployed on uh, all the workstations and which is uh, responsible of presentations of the, the, the PIC and, uh, and uh, um, a shared data which, uh, which own in fact the models, uh, the abstraction models of the, of the PIC. Okay, so all, all uh, our applications 
was uh, composed of, of peak and we have to develop all this peak. Uh, the, the huge one are uh, typically 30 peak, uh, 30 peak and uh, so uh, yes. Okay. In order to, to define this, uh, to, de to define the, the, the interface of the peak the, and the, all the, what, what, the specifications of the, this peak, we, we have some uh, workbench in order to model, to mock up, to simulate our, our systems. And we, for, for this uh, free, uh, free main uh, uh, objective, uh, capacity engineering and promotions. In fact, this is a, a, a making demonstrator in order to, 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 to uh, in a, uh, a show or etc. in order to provide our, our new solutions. Uh, internally, we have to, to, to prove, to, to define the good architecture and, and to, to mock up this architecture and to play with this architecture in order to, to be sure that when we start the, the, the real developments, uh, there is no uh, no problems. Uh, typically, the, the, uh, the developments uh, uh, we can have to, from uh, from ten developers up to uh, up to uh, 80, 80, 100 and uh, in uh, in France, but also in uh, some uh, other countries. When our our customers are, for example, in Turkey, uh, the Turkey the Turkish industry uh, are involved in the development. And also for uh, uh, hybrid uh, prototyping, uh, this guy uh, in this, uh, for this kind of uh, uh, development. So we, we have some some real parts and some uh, simulated parts, and we connect uh, all, the, uh, all of them together in order to uh, to test it or uh, to promote new functionality. So, so this is. Uh, the uh, our, our development process. So uh, first, we, we make the first definitions and mockup. Uh, for the mockup, uh, especially for MMI, we are using a smoke, which is based on a, based on a small talk, and we will have a small presentations uh, after. Then uh, uh, we produce uh, the, the good requirements, the good definitions, and we we start the modelizations and architecting. For architecting, we are, we are based on a component approach and uh, with uh, a tools which uh, provide us uh, a, a system architecture uh, workbench. And then we provide the specifications on the, of the, the components and we provide these this specifications for the development teams. After that, we have to test this component. And for testing the component, we are using PIC unit, which is also based on Smalltalk and SUNIT. And then we integrate all the components all together. Okay, so now uh, I will give the, the microphone to Eric, which uh, will uh, explain you the utilization of smoke, what is smoke, and uh, what is the uh, utilization we, we have in uh, interest. Thank you, Vincent. So I will uh, present you smoke, which is a uh, small talk application we have in Thales, after a good introduction. So, um, components. At the beginning, we had some objects uh, to define our systems on our uh, softwares, and uh, we had no architecture, no contract, and everything was flat uh, when we defined the software. And, uh, Progressively, we passed uh, from this kind of things to uh, more evaluated concepts. We added architecture and packages to the objects' uh, definitions, but there were still no contracts. And to have more, um, you know, uh, separated concepts that you can share with other companies, uh, the contract was very important. So we were inspired from the component approaches and uh, we bring contracts in the definition of our softwares. And every software that we produce actually are based on components and the notion of contract like uh, user services 
each component provided or each services is required are explicitly defined and our subcontractors are able to see uh, what we want for, for, for the components and what we provide to them. As our, uh, our software is made in components, we created in Smalltalk in, in, in order to be able to, to create mockups of our real systems. We built a CCM-like component uh, model in Smalltalk. We called it SCM, inspired from the Jaguar uh, uh, component model, which is CCM-like too, which is a TALES and DCNS Java framework. And um, uh, we introduce in Smalltalk, in fact, the notion of interface and the notion of components. Maybe it, it exists, but for our use, we introduce that in, in Smalltalk. And also the notion of component managers that we have in the Java framework, we introduce it also in the Smalltalk framework. Um, we can have uh, access to the deployment services of components, the home services, the locator services to find components, and so on. So you can see just a graphical representation of the components. And the small talk definition, when you want to define just on the top, it's a definition of a service, just a simple service, with two messages, one with arguments, the other with no arguments in a namespace, and after how, what, how we use this service in the component definition. It's a um, class method that you have to small talk classical classes. Um, you just add this method, and it defines all the components using our framework. What do we do with Snook when you define some components? You can uh, recreate all the basic uh, elements uh, that produce, you know, um, uh, navigation, simulation, uh, uh, radar simulation, and we are able to couple uh, graphical uh, displays to um, the standard um, and um, uh, a lot of components that can make this situation evolve. And we can reuse these components, and all these components are mapped to uh, uh, real components that exist in currently in our systems. So we can make full operation workstation mockups, and uh, uh, we can have it's not just only panels, you know, with buttons or things you can open and close simply. You have a real evolution of the situation. You can click on objects, inspect them, create new objects, and the new objects will move in the situation uh, when you uh, go specifically in some parallels, you can change the configuration of the mockup, and everything that is impacted by this changement will uh, impact the situation on the screen. So the customer can really play with um, small version of his future system. And everything is made in small talk. It's easy to make things with uh, uh, the environment uh, small talk. Small talk environment, sorry. So, um, yeah. How, how do we make sure that the, that the simulation is the same as the finished product? And it's in, in a different language? Yeah. Um, in a way, you want to answer? Okay. In fact, Spark is used only for the definitions. The contract is a requirement. So the, 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 what we have to, to be sure is that the, 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 the real uh, product uh, fits the requirements. Smoke is used only to help uh, communications to help uh, de de defining, yes, finding the requirements and uh, uh, communicate with uh, all the actors, customers, operators, etc. And uh, to, to, because uh, with just requirements uh, with doors, it's, it's uh, impossible. <laughs> it's 
it's not possible to do that. <laughs> so uh, we, we use it in order to detect uh, to detect lack, to detect uh, uh, incoherent, uh, incoherency, something like that, and to, to help communications. And it's very efficient. Yes, but we try to reflect uh, actual system behavior, but not exactly that it will be after, but in a way, uh, it's a way of defining things as a customer, what he wants to have in front of it. Uh, I want also to integrate uh, a development cost model using this uh, kind of thing because, okay, you can imagine you have components, you have uh, a lot of things defined, you, the customer wants that, that, and that, and some components. Uh, you can imagi imagine that uh, if we have the real software, we can just make a projection to imagine how, what will be the cost, and just taking into account the evolutions that the customer wants. And, uh, and make, also we can make evaluation of the relevant scenario, scenarios we want to, to, to play. So, okay. uh, we, um, a few days to one month for a new mockups. It's a very short time uh, definition of mockups. It's very easy and rapid to make uh, a mockup less smoke. And we can make it in a collaborative uh, way. Uh, each other we collaborate in uh, uh, the de development of this kind of mockups. It's very, very efficient, I think. And on the future, what we want to see uh, in our uh, smoke uh, application, um, it's from the system architecture uh, we define. This, uh, in our process, we have the definition of constraints coming from the customer, and we want to um, convert the constraints and after the definition of the system architecture, not the software one, but just the system architecture, we want to make some executable models in smoke, uh, just using a conversion from the system components to the components we have in smoke. Just, okay, we have this and this and this component, okay, we have that in smoke, so just play. But just play in a few minutes, but okay, we can generate things. We make the link from mockup to system and software tools. Um, we can get uh, models and recommend definition from the software for the software architecture. We make all the snapshots of the mockups. Okay, it will be the requirement for the software engineers. Um, the requirements for the behavior of some uh, some OMIs of certain treatments that will have to be done by the components. We can also manage the product line because we build a lot of components and we have we can reuse them during time and capitalize on what we produce on each mockup and reuse on other mockups. And also with talk about a lot of different configuration of aircrafts and we can, using smoke, specify you just want this component, this component, this component that, that uh, are deployed. So we, we will see uh, maybe a subset of your, your full uh, set of components and show to a specific customer that want a small system maybe, uh, a specific system just for his eyes and for his objectives and also code generation and one of our objectives maybe are to generate all the um, Java um, structure or of, uh, OMI definitions, you know, the placement of, um, of panels on, on buttons and so on. And we have everything defined in Smoke. Why not use them directly in Java? So what we want to do, just uh, seeing this decomposition of things from the system functional needs to the physical architecture model, actually what that we want to do in the green part here is to make this part executable. We go from the logical architecture, uh, architecture model and all, with all these constraints made um, uh, represented the system architect produces one physical architecture at the software level 
and that we want to simulate and to present to the customer with this version in an unexecutable way. Okay. So it's uh, what we do with Smoke and how we use Smalltalk in the uh, simulation and uh, mockups. And I will pass the microphone to Ludovic, who will speak you, will speak you about Picanic, which is another approach of using Smalltalk in tennis. Thank you. So we we'll talk to you about uh, Picanic project, is a testing environment. Vincent talked to you about uh, PIC PIC plugin component. It's a component used uh, in uh, our uh, products. And I will present you how to test this PIC and also test inside components inside the specs. So, what's the context? So, it's a context with uh, a lot, a lot of uh, components. Um, you have an example here of a PIC LSE with uses another PIC RAD and uh, navigation on, the, on this side but uh, this PIC also use other component for example uh, navigation uses uh, navigation equipment to uh, a component also and um, inside uh, a PIC uh, there is also other components, you see here, agent and MMI component. And uh, all this uh, component uses uh, Curva services, but also uh, data model. You see here, uh, a global uh, data model here, but also inside a pick. You have also uh, a data model, with internal data model, and you have uh, services between uh, MMI and agent. Um, developer, in general, develop uh, a PIC and um, uses uh, PIC unit to uh, develop the PIC and uh, to mock also uh, part of the PIC that are not yet uh, present. In general, developers uh, should develop a component, but all other components uh, aren't available. Okay. So test unique that uh, pick unit is used to test inside a pick, but also external picks for communication with uh, other picks. So a few examples to test. Uh, here, just a component with a pick unit that can uh, make a server for uh, services, but also can uh, populate a database. Pick unit is also used to test all the pick to replace uh, other picks and to communicate with pick. And also, pick unit is very interesting. It uh, is very uh, useful. For a problem investigation, where there is a problem on a, a PIC, with PIC unit, you can uh, simulate uh, the PIC to send services, to, to get status, to inspect a database, to, to search where the problem and uh, stimulate the component. And uh, also, PIC unit uh, can replace all other PIC absent. So we use PIC unit to as a Swiss knife for problem investigation, but also for simulators. This is Piconnect, a Piconnect screenshot, and uh, you show the different elements used. Uh, I will present to you uh, the details in uh, other slides. You have a buzz on the middle, on the top right you have uh, a test runner, and you have also a tool that is called DSS tool for services here and you see here um, a database browser this is a map of PicUnit what we use from uh, VisualWorks and what we added so you see uh, the packages and bundle we use um, 
SNN is very important. The FCC is used for communication with database. Um, open talk and DST for core services. All uh, internal uh, tools. And we added a few packages. DOS for uh, database communication, DSS for services. We also have uh, added the tools and we also generate documentation for of the test. I will detail uh, all the aspects in uh, other slides. So first, the DSS tool. We have a data model described in uh, XML file and we read, uh, we load this uh, XML file and you see here all the database schema, schema and uh, you can browse in this uh, in this model and uh, you see global status that is selected and uh, this browser is connected to, uh, to the database and you see on the top uh, right here the object map in small talk that are in database. One of them is selected and you see the details about the attributes here. You can inspect uh, an object, you have an inspector and you can modify the object. So you can create object, modify object, see object, all of this. The other tool is DSS tool for Corba services. We load IDR files in the tool and you see the content of the file. <coughs> you see there, here, the modules and in the modules you see interfaces. <coughs> For example, here you have track internal management uh, interface that is selected and you see here all the associated services. Uh, on an interface, you can uh, register it in naming service and register. You can generate all um, the code associated in Smalltalk. And you can, uh, it's very easy to call a service. You have an example here. A very simple call is generated. And you can uh, select it and make uh, do it. On the right, you have uh, an extension of this tool that can use to populate uh, complex structures. You see here um, a track. On the track, I have a lot, a lot of attributes, and we have an interface to easily uh, populate it. We use a lot, a lot uh, S unit. All tests are rated with SUNIT framework and uh, we, use, uh, we use it for a developer to, to test uh, the pick and also to investigate uh, the problems. It's also used as a qualification. All the tests as a group in a test suite and you have uh, a state of the pick. We also, uh, in test, we also have a command, special command, to describe the test, and we generate the final document that will group all tests with state, with precondition, with a requirement covered, all this. And you have at the final uh, the trustability matrix. When we test a pick, we make a special package bundle that is called uh, a mock. And you see here a mapping about, between uh, the pick and the mock content. You have a number. So, first you have the agent. You can simulate the agent component, but you can also <coughs> call it. If you have the real component in C++, or you, it's absent and you want to, to simulate it. You have all the DSS part, the repository, and uh, the generated uh, services, the internal service and external services. So, interpick is internal services, 
and uh, excuse me, OMI is internal services and interpec is external services between this pack and other pack. And you have at the bottom the POM part is private object model. All the data model is generated from the XML file that describes the model. And also at the bottom you have all the tests to qualify the pick. What next for this tool? Uh, we want to make a link between the smoke product represented it <coughs> and pick unit. Because uh, the model is present in smoke and we can generate part of pick unit of test pick unit with uh, <coughs> this model. We can also generate uh, um, source code for the peak development and also uh, generate uh, a part of test. And we want to integrate peak unit in integration continuous, integration continuous and uh, we want to pass all the tests automatically and to get uh, a state for each commit in the source management system. So, the conclusion about uh, Smalltalk in Thales. Uh, we like uh, Smalltalk because we have a rapid uh, application development uh, system with a, a great language. We love uh, very much uh, Smalltalk and is a very quality uh, language. The ID is uh, very efficient. We have a lot of tools. We have change list. We have uh, uh, some uh, a lot of tools that we use uh, all the day. Uh, it's a model-oriented language, and we can uh, very easily generate uh, code. It's very positive, and uh, the debugger is a is a very important part. We don't find uh, any debugger like this in other language. It's a uh, it's a big agreement for uh, RAD. And this Swiss knife aspect because uh, we can do uh, all that we want with uh, small talk. So uh, we like it. We love it. But, but uh, when we want to make uh, courses, when we make courses uh, about uh, small talk, we, has, we, are contract, we have uh, difficulties to explain what is an image. It's a concept that uh, we don't find in other language and in general person uh, don't uh, have difficulties to, to understand what is uh, an image. We, we use uh, examples to show them. And um, the psychological aspect, uh, small talk is uh, different from other language in uh, syntax, in, uh, in uh, image aspect uh, and others and it's uh, it's a bit difficult to explain this to, to developers. And also it's not a language uh, that a lot of persons know. So uh, in general we start with uh, small talk courses and after uh, pick unit courses and uh, small talk utilization. So we have a question we, we want to, to know if this is the first model centric workshop. Thank you very much. We don't know uh, DDS implementation, but uh, we have uh, developed uh, all aspect with a DDS uh, package. You, you spoke about uh, data distribution. Yes, so from OMG. Yes, we are aware because uh, Thales is a contributor to the to the definitions of uh, DDS. And we are we are uh, our own implementations with uh, Open Spice, which is an Open Spice, and we we have uh, uh, actually uh, evaluations of the, these implementations uh, regarding to uh, our actual uh, middleware. And uh, if we choose it, we will develop DOS 
on uh, DCPS, in fact, because we don't plan to use DLL, which, uh, from uh, our point of view, even if Thales contributes, is not a very uh, clever uh, definition. <laughs> Other question? When will you uh, replace that C uh, with small talk too? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't understand. Yes, the, the question is you are using now small talk for the mockups, so the, for starting the project, uh, for uh, modeling, and for. Yes, but uh, next for the project. Yes, the, the question is when you will do this last step. Small talk was used in the past uh, for product with a uh, C++ generation, not uh, purely uh, small talk. Maybe one project? In, fa in fact, uh, the, the main problem for, for the real product uh, using small talk is the, the, the dynamic type checking. So we can, we, uh, our applications have to be secure. So we, we must have a static uh, typing. So in uh, our pro previous uh, utilizations, we we make the, the development in small talk and then have a, a type check a type definitions with a type reference in fact using using the all the navigations in the in the codes in order to to to, to type all the uh, variables in uh, our systems. But um, it's what quite quite heavy so now now and for for our, our uh, top management, it's a bit. Uh, this is a, a, a great psychological aspect uh, using a small talk for uh, our system.